Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Rich and this is Savage Supercars. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Today's video is just a brief overview on a car that is very, very special, very important to me. Got a real, real part in my heart for this car and it's the Audi R8. Now, originally, this car was first seen in concept form in 2004 in the Will Smith film, iRobot. I'm sure most of you have seen this film. Uh, and the Audi concept for the R8 was just absolutely out of this world. It was absolutely amazing. It completely transformed uh, the whole film. Uh, and unbeknown to the writers and producers, it actually became quite a big star, especially the chase in the channel, uh, chase in the tunnel on, on the film. Um, the Audi R8, just became, the concept of the car just became absolutely fantastic and a real iconic part of that film. Um, and that's kind of where we first saw there was a concept at Geneva show in 2003 but in 2004 the the film uh, I Robot uh, car was kind of the first idea that we were going to get some sort of amazing supercar with un unparalleled styling um, from Audi and that was kind of when it first came about so originally it was released the Gen 1 was released in 2006 and was produced up until 2015 uh, and this was known as the type 42 so it was the audi r8 type 42 and it was available in a 4.2 v8 and 5.2 v10 uh, coupe originally and then the spider came out afterwards now, this car was based on the audi le mans quattro concept car as i say back in 2003 um, and the chassis and the engine and the gearbox was all coming from the lamborghini gallardo so it had proven power and deliverability it just needed the audi concept to make it more reliable uh, and more enjoyable as a day-to-day -day car which is what the, the the sort of gen one was and it completely changed the landscape of supercars um because there was nothing like it there was absolutely nothing like it at, in at the time uh, and even now it's such an iconic shape um with the black flanks com completely changing it making it look like no other car you, you wouldn't think it was an audi or a porsche it looks like an audi r8 and that's what it was all about now the gen 2 version which came out in 2015 and until present is called the type 4s um, now this isn't available as a manual and it's not available as a v8 so it was only available in the 5.2 v10 and the v10 plus there's two versions of the engine and the e-tron which is the fully electric version uh, made famous by iron man in all the avenger films um but just Again, just such an iconic shape and style. And even though they've they've tweaked it and, and uh, facelifted the model, it still looks like an Audi R8. You can't mistake it. And the finish and, and the look of it is just shocking. It's just absolutely stunning. It's just one of those amazing cars that looks fantastic. Sounds great, and it has the performance to go with it. Again, available in Coupe and Spider. Now, to give you an idea on some of the performance figures, going back to the Gen 1, the Type 42, uh, the 4.2 had 420 brake horsepower, and the 5.2 V10 had 520 brake horsepower standard. Uh, and the 0 to 60 times were 4.3 for the V8 and 3.6 for the 5.2 V10. That's in the Gen 1. Now, moving forward to the Gen 2, the Type 4S, where obviously they've tweaked it and improved it quite a bit. So the 5.2 V10 Plus has got 610 brake horsepower, uh, 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds, and a top speed of 204 mile an hour. I mean, it just is an absolute rocket ship. And again, still available in the Coupe and the Spider. And, and it is the looks. It's the looks that make it just absolutely unbelievably special um now i had a, a race day at brands hatch last year and i drove a lot of different cars i drove a, a ferrari a lamborghini a bmw i8 an aston martin and an, an audi r8 and the r8 was the one that i was not overly excited about it was the one i went yeah it's okay you know i'll drive it as one it was actually the last car i drove of the day and it did everything you wanted it to do and more. I had a massive smile on my face after driving that car. Um, it was loud. It was it was ridiculously fast. You felt safe while driving it on it on the edge in Brands. Um, it was absolutely fantastic. And it was the one car that as soon as I came off um, on the way home, I was going through Auto Trader on the on the app looking for how cheap they are. Could I afford one? Could I put one on the channel moving forward? Um, because the Audi R8 was Jeff definitely the car that surprised me the most out of all of the cars. It was the one that surprised me the most. Now, while we talk about the Audi R8 for sale, um, these have massively come down in price and to me are an absolute bargain of a supercar. And, and they are a supercar. And I don't, nobody can tell you otherwise. They can't say, oh, it's just a sports car in a, in a fancy dress or whatever. It is a supercar without a shadow of a doubt. Um, and the prices of these have come down massively, absolutely massively. So 
um, you know, the original uh, Gen 1, the Type 42, there's 100 grand for the Coupe and 120 grand for the Spider as, as an average benchmark price. Uh, these are starting about 30k now. Um, and you'll see some. I'm going to put some on the screen now. They're actually for sale at the as we moment using eBay and Auto Trader and a few dealers that I'm friends with. Um, some of these are just absolutely ridiculous. Sort of just under 30 grand for a coupe, just under sort of 45 grand for a, for a Spider. Uh, reasonable mileage, good spec, not been overly abused. Um, and the Gen 2 ones, so the Gen 2 ones are sort of 128 to 160 grand new, uh, and they start at about 60k. Um, and you, you know, you start talking about sort of 80, 85k, you're getting a nearly new car, really, really well specced, um, with all the Audi service history and warranty still available with it. And, and for 80 grand, I just think it's an absolute steal of a car, um, something that you can drive every day and just has everything that you want it to do, has the performance, has everything you want from a supercar. But with without the supercar, probably you're not know, talking 200, 300 grand, we're talking about 60 grand they start from for, for a really good spec Gen 2. Um, now I'm as I said, I'm going to put some on here. I mean, redline specialist cars have got three or four cars under ninety grand. Really, the V10 Plus is really, really clean, really, really like immaculate models and additions, good specs. Um, Dean at DMB Collection has got a really nice uh, V10 Plus for sixty nine grand, really, really clean as well. Um, but you'll see there's quite a few for sale that I'm putting on the screen now that you can you can have a look at. But the Audi R8 is definitely one of those cars that I know a few guys have had them, they've sold them wish they hadn't sold them and got them again um, because they, you know, they, they maybe had a V8 and then they got the V10 and then they've got the V10 plus or they've got a spider just because it, it is just one of those cars that you can just run and run and run. And with Audi reliability and build quality, you, you, you can't fault it. Um, so I would definitely look at that. So my final thoughts for these um, cars basically would be, you know, um, it is a supercar. It's not a sports car. It's not a classic car. It is a supercar. It is an Audi supercar. And these start at 30 grand. So for 30k, you're getting a 100 grand supercar on your drive. And yes, you know, the parts and servicing aren't going to be as cheap as say Ford Fiesta, but it's not going to break the bank either. It's got Audi build quality. You know, Audi build quality is, is, is up there, isn't it? With, with all the top Germans, the build quality is there. So the Audi R8 is just absolutely fantastic buy. So for under 30 grand, you're getting the four-wheel drive um, system. You're getting the everyday performance. Remember, these were the first production cars to have the full LED headlights on any car. I know a lot of cars have got them now. A lot of the VAG group have got them now. But the Audi R8 was the first car to have the new full LED headlights available as standard on a production car. Um, so you've got a super performance car that looks amazing. The style and the design of it are second to none. Um, even the Gen 1 still looks special, still looks really special in the, in the singular colour with the black flanks on the sides. It just stands out from the crowd. It looks really, really amazing. Uh, easy livable car, without a shadow of a doubt. You could easily live with one of these day to day, I'm sure. Um, it, all of the car vloggers that I follow, all of the guys that have been there that I, that I sort of like um, respect and, and look up to, they've all had Audi R8s, all of them. Whether it was an early R8 uh, um, V8 or whether it was the, R the V10 or the V10 Plus, they've all had it. I mean, um, Paul Wallace at Supercars of London, uh, he drove a Spider for six months a couple of, a couple of winters ago. Um, he was given a, a, a courtesy car for six months and he drove one as a daily car. What a fantastic, fantastic car. So it's easy livable. Miles for smiles, without a shadow of a doubt, it's one of those cars that, for budget, I don't think you're going to fault it. I really, really don't. I think it's one of those cars that will just tick all the boxes. So it's fabulously uh, built to put together. Performance-wise, it's going to give you that energy bust, the, the boost, the, the 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 real fizz of driving a supercar. Uh, it ticks all the boxes, as far as I'm concerned, and looks amazing. So the Audi R8 guy is definitely one of those cars that, for me, I've always loved. I definitely would love to run one for a little while. You know, some guys have, have straight piped them, slammed them down, wide body kitted them. And even then, they don't look too garish. They don't look like the old 1990s max power cars where they've over the top done it. They still have the style and the looks and the design the performance that go with them. And they're, they're good buys now. A friend of mine was looking uh, latter part of last year to get himself a toy and he went in test drive for 49 grand. Um, a 5.2 V10 Spider. Um, and absolutely loved it. I, I think they couldn't get the right deal on the Pike Exchange, which is the only reason why he didn't buy the car because he actually loved the car that he test drove. Uh, and that was black on black on black, and it just looked amazing for a spider. Uh, but yeah, so the Audi R8 guys, definitely one to look at, definitely one to uh, consider. 
as a as an everyday supercar if you if you want to add one to your garage or add one to your channel or whatever uh guys as always thank you for watching thank you for supporting the channel we really really do appreciate it i know it's been difficult times uh it looks like the, the lockdown is going to be lifting off a little bit easier now so we should be able to start getting out driving some cars soon we've still got a lot of cars to drive on the channel a lot of people sort of offering us their cars to take out uh which is what everyone wants to see it's far more important than just listening to me waffle on and i appreciate that but thank you for your support thanks for everything you guys do we really do appreciate it Stay safe. Have an absolutely fabulous day and we'll see you soon. Thanks for everything. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.